What's up, YouTube? This is Jay. And just want to introduce you guys to my brand new YouTube channel. It's called Brother Cousins Toy Review. In these videos, pretty much what I'm going to be doing is just showing you my figure collection and just pretty much just giving you guys cool reviews and just also just trying to join this community. I've been collecting high toys for about... 10 years now. I think I started in 2009. My first figure was the Batman, uh, Dark Knight, Batman, uh, the Batman, what was it, the Batman, uh, matter of fact, it was the Dark Knight, Dark Knight, uh, Bank Robber Joker. That was my first figure. When I got that figure, it just changed everything for me. What I'm showing you guys right now is my overall high toy collection. I, through the outer years, I bought, sold, traded, did everything. Um, but right now, this is the collection that I got. Just want to give you guys this real quick, brief video of uh, showing you my overall collection. So let me get up. And I'm sorry for the crude, this crude video. It's the first time I ever did this. This is being shot on my iPhone, iPhone X. So deal with it. <laughs> um, what we have up top is we have the Thor Ragnarok collection. So far, I didn't get Loki because wasn't feeling Loki. Wasn't feeling that version of Loki. I have the original Loki from the Avengers line. It came back, came out all the way in, I think, back in 2013. So, yeah. Like this collection. Like this collection a lot. And if you guys have questions on where I got that case, um, just hit me with comments and I'll respond to you and let you know how I did that. A little trip to Home Depot goes a long way. What you see right here is um, my first row of Detoffs. What we got right here is I tried to make this, you know, do a little Infinity War theme, Group 1. This is one of my favorite teams in Infinity War. Doctor Strange, uh, Spider-Man, and Iron Man. I know that's not the right Iron Man, and I don't know that, and I know that's not the right Doctor Strange either. But um, I like that Doctor Strange. I don't think I'm going to upgrade to the new one. Like, what's the point? I like that head sculpt. I think it's dope. It's definitely Benedict Cumberbatch in that uh Cumberbatch in that in that sculpt. So let me zoom in. Yeah. So the Iron Spider, I love it. Love it, love it, love it. You guys already know. I'll be doing a review on that one. I'm sure you guys in the community all know about the whole creases in the costume. I don't care. I pose my figures. I'm like, why well, spend two hundred and fifty dollars on a figure if you're not gonna have fun with them? And right next to him is the uh the Mark VI uh, diecast, love that figure, just just dope. Going down, we got the original Avengers. Love these figures, don't want to put them away. I mean, that whole original Avengers movie is just my jam. Still love it. Down here, we have Hawkeye, Nick Fury, Agent Coulson, everybody's favorite. And Black Widow, also from the original Avengers line. And we down there have that Loki I was talking about. I think that's the best, um, I think that's the best Loki to date still. The new one, the head scope is cool, but I know it has some weirdness with it. So I like, I just like that Loki. Um, and I got Deadpool down there just for some reason, because I needed space for Deadpool. Going back up, we have T'Chaka. Love this figure, even though it's pretty much like a Kid Bash figure from the original uh, Black Panther figure from Civil War. But I mean, just I'm going to be doing my matter of fact, my first review is going to be on this figure right here. And just to show you guys how awesome, truly awesome this figure is. I mean, I don't care. I think I know it uses, utilizes some of the same parts from that from that uh, Black Panther that's right next to it. But it's definitely a great figure. I mean, the Thor figure. That is just amazing. Infinity War Thor is, I think, everybody's favorite figure. of the, It's probably figure of the year for 2018. It's just a great figure. Below that, we have also the second, in my opinion, the second greatest figure and um, figure, figure of the year. The second figure of the year <laughs> for 2018, Yondu. Love that guy. And you got Teenage Root. You 
got Rocket and of course Star Lord with the little baby group on the shoulder. What can I say? Stand a man Lee, rest in peace. Great guy. Met him a couple times. I was so lucky to get that figure last year because I mean I think we all saw the inevitable coming. And um he's just a great guy and pretty much just like I mean, the daddy of this whole Marvel thing <laughs> in so many ways. Um, he definitely will be missed. Had to get that figure. Have to get it. It's a must-have. It's really one of my prized figures in my collection, to be honest with you. Right next to him, you have Spider-Man Homecoming. Home Spider-Man Homecoming figure, which is awesome. And the Ant-Man figure. Love that original Ant-Man figure. So, like, at this point, there's no need to pick up a new one. Not as of yet. I just think they nailed it with that one. Below there, you got Daredevil and the Punisher. Had to get those must-have. So sorry that we're not getting a season four as of now of Daredevil. But I can't wait to punish a season two. Right here, we have one of my greatest sets in probably the center, the, which is the centerpiece of my collection. The Back to the Future set with Marty McFly, Doc Brown, and the DeLorean. Let me do something for y'all real quick. Alexa, turn on the DeLorean. Okay. Oh my God, it never gets old. Um, I don't know if you guys are part of the uh, the group on Facebook, um, but um, I put up this video before, and I had it say turn on time circuits but for some reason alexa wasn't hearing me say time circuits so i don't know but anyway alexa turn off delorean and she ain't hearing me alexa turn off delorean okay there we go but yeah we love those figures i'm going to be doing a review on this set too on this channel i'm also going to do a thing called like retro reviews pretty much just reviewing figures that are older um, cause sometimes I just feel that a lot of these figures, a lot of, I think a lot of the YouTubers, we just get into the thing of just reviewing figures that are new because people want to see them and they want to make sure if they want to buy them or are they worth purchasing or, you know, so I, but I want to do retro reviews cause I think a lot of these pieces are great. And also it just shows how far hot toys has come and how certain toys I feel sometimes they have sculpts that are just dead on the money and they do it right the first time and then they may go in and try to improve those sculpts and it's not as good as the first one like loki would definitely fall into that category at least in my opinion i know some of you may feel differently but in my opinion i think that's what it is all right so if you saw my finger pop up on the camera sorry like i said i'm filming this on my iphone i promise these videos will get better but moving on Let's go to the second group of Detoffs, which is more Star Wars themed. You have Darth Vader from New Hope. You got Luke from Return of the Jedi. I think we're all pissed off that of uh, that little cash grab that Hot Toys just did, announcing the new Luke that has more pieces and different head sculpts to fit this figure. It's just, it's like, I just wish they would have uh, offered that one first instead of putting this one out and then putting another one that's just more of a cash grab. So, I may sell that one. I may keep it. Not sure just yet. We'll figure it out as time goes on. Got my new hope set here. Got Chewie in the background chilling. Got Luke, in the, got Luke up front and center. Leia with the pistol. Han Solo just looking, just looking like a pimp. And that R2-D2 is not from Hot Toys or Sideshow. It's actually the, Spir the Spiro, I think I'm saying her name right, the Spiro R2-D2. I'd rather have that R2-D2 because, I mean, it's an actual droid. And it's just cool that I can just pull that out the cabinet and just, you know, have it run around on the floor and be a droid. So, yeah, that's that. Right, right here we got Finn and Ray and BB-8 had to represent the new pe new kids, leaders of the new school, whatever. And we 
got Finn as a Stormtrooper and Kylo Ren, the original Kylo Ren. It's awesome. On this channel, you're going to see more Star Wars figures from my brother cousin. And brother cousin, yeah. I'll explain that later. Y'all find out what that's all about and what that all means. But anyway, moving right along. Got the Robocop box set. Just got this for Christmas. This was a grail piece of mine. I've been after this for a couple of years. And um, my uh, fiance uh, made it happen for me this Christmas. So she's definitely a great wife to be. And I'm um, very happy to get this piece. Got this off eBay and got it for a good price. Got it for uh, just a little over 400 And Universal Studios, man, they were selling it for like 8 800 I think it was like 825 or something like that. I was like, these people look crazy. Smoking them drugs. Smoking that yak. <laughs> Wasn't paying those prices. But uh I got it off you got it off eBay and paid by like I said a little over 400 for it and um there it is. <clears throat> Another grill piece. Um they got the terminator stuff right here. Sorry for the little blue tent right there. Let me get get zoom in on that. Boom. There we go. Um, once again, the T-1000 set was definitely a grill piece. Got that from, got that off eBay and got that off eBay for under 300 with the extra figure. So that was just great because a couple years ago I was, I was about to shell out four, I think about 450 just for the one. <laughs> and, um, I got a deal, got a deal that was slightly used, but came with the box, shipper and everything. So. Got over like a fat rat. And of course, we got that uh, cool-ass T-800 battle damage right there. Just looking just looking awesome. Just love it. Moving along. I know my uh, figures are kind of random right now with the Terminator and the uh, Robocop stuff being in the middle of the Star Wars stuff. But this is the best I can do for the time being. Until I move into my new place where I can evenly divide and move and put everything where it needs to be. Right here we got uh Boba Fett and uh Anakin Star uh, Anakin Skywalker, excuse me. That is not the uh the uh dark side one. I'm not gonna get that one, not yet anyway, but uh still a cool figure. And last but not least, we got another grill piece, the Joker. He was 89, Jack Nicholson Joker was definitely my grill, one of my grill pieces. Got him a couple years ago, along with the 89 Batman. I just love these figures. I actually prefer the 89 Batman over like the Ben, you know, the Affleck Batman and the uh, Christian Bale Batman stuff. I mean, that's the Batman I grew up with as a kid and emulated and played as so that's my batman right there and of course i got the penguin that penguin figure has been around forever it's a childhood toy i just threw him in there just to throw him in there for somehow that i always find this figure i always lose that figure and find that figure i don't know what it is about that but yeah i always lose him and find him and i have found him again or he has found me again so yep so <laughs> Let me get up. Oh, God. Like I said, guys, I promise these videos will get better. But for right now, this is my first video. Just showing you my overall collection. Thank you for watching. More videos to come. Peace.